All right, guys, be sure to go by Facebook.com slash BigCountry77X. Follow me on Twitter at BigCountry77X. And, of course, subscribe to me right here on YouTube. What it do, what it do, what it do, do, do. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Big Country here. Yeah. Welcome to the first video of Big Country's TV. And I figure what better way to do it than do a tutorial on Photoshop. And if you, you look around a lot of people's different people's... Um, YouTube layouts, uh, some of their intros and outros and all that stuff, and you see film strips, and I was wondering how to make one, and I, and I never, I didn't even look to see if there was a, uh, a tutorial out there on one, so I started just tinkering around in Photoshop, and this is what I made. Uh, so I just figured you know, there might be more of you out there wondering how to make one of these if you haven't uh, kind of figured it out yet. So I'm just going to show you how I did it. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, but this is how I did it. It was pretty easy for me. I'm going to show you some things that you can make out of it. You know, like uh, this is the Minecraft one. Um, Gears of War 3, Modern Warfare 3, NCAA. And, you know, this is kind of something that I'm working on now. You can distort them and, you know, all that jazz. So, you know, basically it starts from here. And then, uh, you know, you go from there. You can do any all kind of jazz. So let's start off. This actually right here is a video border that I'm thinking about uh, making for the Big Country TV channel. Um, so I don't know. We'll see what I'll do with that. I'm not sure yet. So anyway, let's start with a new project. Click, click new. Let's go 2,000 width and 400 height and click OK. Now what I do, uh, the easiest way for me to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my fill bucket here. So make sure your foreground color is black. Go up here and pull your bucket. Let's make a new layer and fill it in black. You know, pretty simple. And you really, you know what, I ain't, let's just screw all that, okay? Forget this. Let's go to shape tool. Get the rectangle tool. Let's left click from the corner drag about halfway down that's about all we're going to need about halfway down and it's black now let's zoom in let's go in a couple times by controlling control plus and let's grab our eraser tool right here and let's go to mode and choose block not pencil you dipshit block all right now what we want to do here is i'm going to rasterize this layer and i'm going to go right right here in the middle left click and I'm just going to drag down about a block and a half right like that now like I said I just brought that little square this little that little chase in here this this rectangle just as a uh, starter for me now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the marquee tool I'm going to left click and drag just to the edge of the white and I'm going to drag down right here if you look right there in the film strip, I'm gonna let me zoom in a little bit for you. The marquee tool is just at the edge of the erased spot here. Because you know I want the space to be even between each of them. So what we're gonna do now, we got that uh, marqueed out. Hit edit and then cut. Now we're gonna clear this layer. Or delete the layer rather. And now all we gotta do is add a new layer edit and paste now this thing is back here so let's zoom back out a little bit we're going to bring this over to the edge right to the edge boom <clears throat> now all we got to do now is duplicate the layer by hitting control J hit hold sh control to drag it over line it up to the edge Link, merge those two layers control again control J again to duplicate those layers drag it over to the edge matter of fact we gotta take it up just a notch what we're doing here Unlo I gotta undo undo a couple things here I didn't have it exactly uh, proportioned so here we go this hold shift while you're grabbing grab your uh, what's it the, 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 the move tool Hold shift while you're doing it so it keeps it in a perfect line. Little pro tip for you. Merge these layers. Hold shift again. I got control J to duplicate layers. Hold shift again. Drag over. Merge these layers again. Control J to duplicate layer. Hold shift again. Just keep dragging over. It's going to take you to the edge. So just keep doing this repeatedly. 
and then uh, we will get it filled out. <coughs> wow, excuse me, guys. I mean, a cough in your ear. I'm not a great tutorial guy anyway to begin with because I don't do this shit a lot. But I figured that some of you might want to see this. So I'm just, all I'm doing is uh, control J and duplicating a layer and merging layers over and over until we get all the way across. And holding shift so it keeps uh, everything all perfect and straight and pretty looking. Now that we got those done, let's merge those layers. We're going to do one more duplicate layer. We're going to edit this image, this layer. I edit, transform, flip, vertical. Now we got to just hold shift and drag down. And voila, that, my friends, is a uh, film strip. We're going to merge these layers again. Now what we're going to do is just to grab another rectangular tool. I'm going to use uh, foreground color to come with a dark gray. I'm going to hold shift as I do this to maintain proportion. I'm just going to drag. No, I'm not going to hold shift. I kind of want, we kind of want a, uh, a kind of a, um, I don't know, maybe like a widescreen format kind of deal. So just kind of eyeball it the way you want. And I don't want it to, uh, start off with a full uh, shit. a full uh, image so I'm going to start kind of like back a little bit and all I'm going to do now is duplicate the layer hold shift, drag it over you can have the spacing however you want it and I'm going to hold shift duplicate this layer again like I said the spacing is going to be up to you wherever you want it, how far you want the strips to be from and all that jazz I just hold shift to keep it, uh, keep them straight, keep them in line. Do one more, should get us to the end. And just like that. Let's see. And they're doing, they, they all look, they look, look pretty good. Let me get this view thing up here, get the extra out of there. It's yeah, so look pretty good. So all you got to do now is just whatever images you want, just put them over top of it. And then before you can do any warping or any uh, anything like, along those lines, what you need to do first is hold shift click all these buttons and merge all the layers now that way this thing is a hundred percent you can't you can't move any of these elements away they're all going to be there they're all going to be attached to each other i do delete the background and i make this a ping file that way all these little holes like if i put it i'll show you matter of fact we go to my uh my youtube all those holes will be uh, transparent to where oh wrong one will be uh, transparent to where they actually show through to the background whatever you have behind it you know you'll see instead of having the white behind um, the uh, the film strip you're gonna have whatever layer style or whatever graphics you have behind it so you go to my channel you see right here I got a red background let me zoom out, out a little bit kind of see where I didn't do anything fancy with with this one I just put a little bit of film strips on there I don't want for a three and I'm still working on the new template uh, the new layout for YouTube and all that size and I didn't realize it was this is going to be that big because you can see it right here actually uh, where's that you can see it uh, you know what it don't matter I ain't even looking for it I ain't even going to look for it but once you uh, get everything get all your images in here it's like this let's just use this for example we, everything's already flattened or, or, or merged together we're going to we're going to um, all we gotta do now is go up into edit, transform. Oh, you can warp, you know, warp perspective, whatever, you know, just do whatever you want done with it. You can do, I don't know, just just whatever you know, whatever you want to do. Just see, each of these little points does different things. You know, if you want to warp it, you know, like crazy, then warp it like crazy. If you want it to go bendy, bendy, or change the perspective, or whatever you want to do some kind of freestyle transform it's just whatever you want to do whatever kind of design you're looking for but uh, after we do one we'll confirm the changes let's say we want to go to distort now we can just do this kind of stuff you know and make it go bigger or smaller or whatever and once you get it done 
So you enter and it confirms the changes and you can go back in here over and over and do some transform, do some more warping because every time you warp it and you, and you confirm the change it'll lock it in a place that way you can go back in there and rewarp it some more. Little by little. You don't you can't really you don't want to try to do it all at one time because it won't make it look very well. So you want to make sure that you do it, you know, baby steps. You know, that's why, you know, a lot of the really in-depth backgrounds and graphics you see, you know, they do so much work on them. They're like, a lot of these things got like 300 layers on them. You know, every layer makes a difference. It's like when it comes to warping and transporting or uh, um, tr transforming, you know, little by little, it makes a difference. So just add it all up and do it at the end. So anyway, guys, I hope this little quick tutorial helped you out a little bit. I'm going to get back into playing with this thing and see what I can do with it. And, uh... Welcome to Big Countries TV, and expect some more uh, videos coming up soon. I still got gameplay saved up, and um, there you go. Boom. Thanks for watching, guys.